Hello everyone. One of the biggest academic challenges which students face in college is bad teaching. Now this is an issue which doesn't get addressed enough. We often hear uh, blame being put on the students that they don't work hard enough, that they are not interested in class, that they don't do their assignments, etc, etc. But sometimes the failure of learning can actually be attributed to the very source which is teaching. So I thought that in this video, I'll address this issue and I will put out uh, four or five methods by which students can handle a situation where the teaching is not going very well. Please note that this is, uh, these methods are not going to be a fix all kind of things. Uh, rather, it'll only just, they'll only just help students to handle the situation a little bit better. So the first method and this is absolutely the most important one is that students need to give some sort of feedback to the teachers. Now, uh, in an earlier video also, I had mentioned this uh, important thing regarding giving feedback and some students had pointed out in the comments that it is not always possible to give feedback. Uh, the reason is that they pointed out that some of the professors are so very uh, egoistic that they are not willing to listen and sometimes there is a danger that if you give feedback then uh, you will be singled out and uh, maybe in the internals or in the teacher's assessment you'll be given low marks. So uh, if you really feel uh, such a situation is arising uh, then trade a little bit carefully but my experience is that uh, no matter who the teacher is uh, if you are very polite and respectful in giving this feedback and a little bit strategically tactful in how you frame your words uh, the message can be conveyed across so what you can do is that maybe you are not being able to understand anything in class the way that the teacher is communicating so uh, you don't have to go alone maybe get a group of friends and approach him in a group and very politely and respectfully tell him that you are not being able to understand this and this thing. Okay, and maybe you can ask him that uh, maybe on certain things uh, which he is just passing by at a high pace, uh, his speed is very high, uh, maybe you can ask him to, you can request him to slow down a little bit, maybe you can ask him to elaborate a little bit more. Uh, uh, so, even a little bit of a... Uh, Proactive feedback from your side can work wonders. Okay, trust me on this uh, because uh, when I was teaching for the first time one particular subject, I faced this issue and one of the students actually helped me by giving this sort of a constructive criticism. Furthermore, please note that I've been teaching for what now nine years now since 2016 and uh, I consider myself to be an above average teacher. Uh, especially for subjects like mechanics of solids at some times I think I teach quite well you can ask my students uh, however it does not necessarily mean that I'm always a good teacher for example this semester I'm teaching a new course I mean uh, I, I'm teaching a subject for the first time uh, the name of the subject is design of machine elements and trust me I am putting a lot of honest effort behind it but my honest and best efforts I'm getting a feeling that they're not being good enough so uh, because of my inexperience in teaching this subject, uh, maybe uh, the teaching is not going very well. So uh, I always appreciate, at least uh, this much honesty I have, I appreciate the feedback from the, from the students. So uh, I'm, uh, I'll be grateful if, if students point this out. And I'm sure many, many professors are like that. Okay, sometimes we don't get, the, get, get a feeling of how the students are receiving it. Uh, but read carefully. Uh, the next thing is that sometimes what happens is that uh, the teacher is explaining quite well but you are also able to understand but uh, what happens is that the teacher is not communicating in a very interesting fashion. The classes are extremely dull and monotonous and it is very hard to even keep your eyes open. You fall asleep. Okay. So when I was a student this used to happen to me also. So this is a universal thing. What can you do? So what you can do is 
uh, whenever you see that the class is getting very dull and monotonous you can actually ask some questions to the teachers now this is a very i mean way too simple a method i'm i'm suggesting but it actually works the reason is that uh, i mean it's a two way street right so if the teacher is teaching in a boring fashion you are bored and you are falling asleep and the teacher mind you can see everyone and he's seeing that the students are falling asleep they are yawning uh, or maybe they are doing something on their phone so uh, he also becomes even more uninterested and he just passes his time and uh, uh, somehow finishes the lecture and goes away but if some student asks something then it's human psychology to i mean just become a little bit more aware his awareness i mean there's a heightened sense of awareness uh, a, a, an interest a spark of interest develops and he will definitely try to answer uh, the the question the student asks or if it, if it uh, even if it is something as simple as just asking him to repeat something in a more elaborate fashion right in the class itself that also can uh, i mean make the enliven the class a little bit so these are extremely small things uh, another trick which you can uh, take up is that see uh, everyone uh, i mean at least in the nits iits they are doing research the professors and they are extremely interested in their own research so one thing that you can ask during class if things are getting extremely boring is that you can ask the professor that how is this teaching that the things that he is teaching in class how does it relate to the to some research work okay or some practical applications okay so you will see the spark in his eyes then you will be actually able to see this thing so he will get absolutely enthused and he will like uh, it will absolutely inject a new life into the whole proceedings of the class so try it out this is my suggestion uh now if you i mean uh, if you just consider the above two points whatever i've just said uh, now this couple of points you may think that i am putting the responsibility of enlivening the class and everything on you and uh, you may think that uh, why should this be your responsibility okay so you are right i mean it is the teacher's responsibility actually and uh, uh, i mean you should be you should be learning but you see if the teaching is not going well you are the ones who are going to suffer so you have to take some proactive uh, steps okay so uh, in trying to enthuse the class be a little bit selfish in your ultimate end goal and your ultimate end goal is to do well in the course okay so in that spirit try to take it up the next point is that uh, sometimes the teacher is quite okay in his communication in his explanations but uh, he is not very organized he uh, i mean he doesn't set out the syllabus properly he doesn't uh, say when the classes are going to take place now what does uh, what does uh, coverage for the mid semester or the for the coverage of the end semester is until the very last moment uh, so whenever i say these things i have i have been guilty of all of these points myself okay i have tried to correct myself over the years but i have been guilty of all of these things myself so i am not being sanctimonious about it uh, so when such things happen again be a little bit proactive and ask him okay he won't mind this this i can guarantee you because this is more on the logistical side of things uh, and uh, i mean truth be told some professors actually take a little bit of a pride in being a little bit absent minded genius or something like that um, so if you ask him about the logistics thing about the organization things he won't mind okay this is guaranteed uh, like uh, sometimes what can happen is that uh, he is teaching from different references okay and uh, there is no guidance for you to refer to anything and he has not set it out also clearly anywhere so then also uh, you you can ask him okay you can ask him that uh, for this particular topic which thing should be referred to or which section of the book uh, should be followed or if it is not there in the book which are the reference or maybe video lecture or any other um, source from the internet should be referred to so again if you do this thing uh, then he again will be a little bit enthused that yes to his students are interested in learning the subject 
and it is like a virtuous circle you must have heard of a vicious circle this is a virtuous circle where things can actually improve uh, another thing uh, is that uh, so this is the uh, this is the fourth point uh, where, which i want to highlight here is that sometimes the there is a big mismatch between what the teacher is thinking that the students know already know uh, and what they actually know so in every course there is a prerequisite knowledge which the teachers will assume and will teach from there maybe in an introductory course this danger is not so much there uh, but even then it can happen even in a first year course because uh, uh, you have to assume we have to assume some kind of a pre i mean previous knowledge from uh, your je days from your uh, class 11 and 12 but this danger is even more for an advanced level course where the knowledge uh, from i mean the the material of that particular subject it depends on some other material that has already been covered in a in an introductory course for example now that i'm teaching design of machine elements it depends very much on the previous course of mechanics of solids which is taught in the second year design of machine elements is taught in the third year so i work under the assumption that the students know something but that may not always be true okay so when such a mismatch happens especially it is if it is being taught by completely separate teachers uh, then you need to point this out okay and this is something which will not at all break the ego of the professor this feedback you can absolutely give okay and you need to give this very early on so all of these things that i'm telling you please note that you wait at least a couple of weeks into the semester and only then you mention this and certainly now i mean if you're watching this video now uh, this is the end of september uh, i believe in most places the mid semester examinations have already gone by if you have not yet told your uh, i mean the the courses where these kinds of problems are cropping up it is more than high time for you to tell them okay so so please be Uh, a little bit open with your problems with your teacher. So uh, now coming back to this point, like when there is a mismatch, uh, when you are telling him, it can so happen sometimes that the little the teacher is a little bit, I mean, he acts in a little bit indifferent fashion. He says that okay, you are supposed to know this. Uh, then also, I mean, don't just give up. You ask him very politely that sir, we were not very, uh, I mean. <laughs> uh, uh, we didn't do the previous course very well so now we are uh, we are lacking in some knowledge so uh, what can we do to uh, to cover that uh, that missing thing that that loophole uh, or if it is something that he is uh, assuming uh, maybe which is not actually been covered but he wants you to know this then uh, be upfront about it and ask him that which source uh, he expects you to learn this from okay so the overall lesson is that be proactive uh, whenever so ju don't just crib among your friends that uh, okay this is not going well what he is doing we are not understanding not like that okay the last point is that uh, usually i have seen what students do when they face bad teaching is that uh, they crib among themselves a little bit and then they will try to find out some internet source most probably and uh, a related nptel lecture and then they will study from it now the problem with that is that uh, in uh, in a particular course the teacher uh, does a coverage which is quite unique to him okay he will only set the questions so this happens in the nits and the iits uh, so if you are not following the exact route or the exact coverage that he is doing then you will be in a lot of trouble during the exams so maybe it's a fantastic source you have found out in nptel but if the coverage is not matching exactly with what your actual professor is doing then you will be in a lot of trouble so my suggestion is that uh, you use it in a little bit strategic fashion so don't just confine it to yourself get a group of friends who can with whom you can study together and what you can do is you take up individual chapters uh, over which you can do the quote unquote the research of the material or you can divide it amongst yourself whatever works for you uh, so what i'm suggesting is that 
you try to find out what is the coverage that is going on in class and then to try to find out the absolute best references uh, which uh, you can find out from the internet whether it is nptl lectures whether it is the mit courseware uh, open courseware or some other video lectures uh, and don't be too proud that this is a no name college uh, I mean, uh, I mean, I've never heard of the name of this college. I, I will not uh, learn from this. Don't be like that. Okay. Be a little bit open minded. As long as you can understand the topic, uh, uh, learn. Okay. There is, there is, there should not be any shame from learning from any source. Uh, so, uh, so, but you cannot do this alone. Okay. That's, that's the point that I'm trying to make. Uh, so you get a group of friends, divide and conquer the work. Okay. So again, uh, I am putting a lot of responsibility on you when the teaching is going bad. But uh, you see, this is, uh, this is adult life. Okay, there are many things in adult life which should be in a certain fashion you feel, uh, but it is not. Okay, and when it is not, instead of complaining about it, be proactive and do something about it. Okay, so whenever you find that the teaching is not good, take it upon yourself to handle it in a mature fashion. So uh, I hope these little tips will help you. Thank you very much and all the very best.